Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, good morning. Good morning. All right, I understand we had some uh, delays, but you're all here. That's all that matters, all right? So we're going to continue with the presentation of the state's case. Uh, Mr. Murphy, good morning again, sir. Good morning. And you're still in the roof, okay? Yes, all right. <clears throat> Go ahead, madam. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Murphy. Good morning. All right. Um, so yesterday, we talked about a few things. I want to go back over some a few things. Uh, we talked about an individual by the name of Christian McMillan or Mac Man. You remember mm -hmm. that? Uh -huh. What was your relationship like with him? Uh, we grew up together. We were kids. I knew his family. He knew my family. We both stayed in the projects. Uh, they two down the projects. Both our moms got session eight. Moved. We went, we, he stayed on one side of the clinic, I stayed on the other side, but we would still see each other at school and stuff. So. And what school did y'all go together? Go uh, Crawford Long, before I got expelled. <clears throat> and are you aware at all of the knowledge of the relationship between Mr. McMiller and Mr. Williams? No, nah, I think they start like being cool when I went to prison. Okay. I mean, I know they knew each other, but I ain't see them together or know they were together until after I got out of prison. So when y'all were younger, y'all never hung out together? Me and McMahon? You, McMahon, and Mr. Williams? No, not at, not like simultaneously, no. Oh. <clears throat> now, yesterday, we talked about um, some names that you called Mr. Williams. And you told me you called him Little Jeff. Uh -huh. um, and I think the other name was Prune. Uh -huh. Is that a yes for the record? Yes. Okay. Did you ever call him in 2012 and 2013, reference him by the name of Thug? Mm, I might have said it, but I ain't everyone like we're on a daily basis. Okay. When you were um, interviewed back in 2015 and 2016, during the course of those interviews, what did you reference, what did you refer to him as if they asked you questions during those interviews? Uh, I can't even, I know I had an interview in 2015, but like far as like what was said and all that, I don't really remember that I've been through a lot. Like, And I know when I did those interviews, at that point, like, I would have lied, cut my arm off to get back to my son. Okay. Do you recall never really calling him Little Jeff at all in those interviews, and you only called him Thug throughout those entire interviews? I don't recall. What do I call? Nobody had an interview. <clears throat> I know I had an interview, though. Now, we talked about yesterday when you um, were a part of the group Red Cartel. Uh -huh. Is that a yes? Yes. And when you're a part of Red Cartel, that you joined Red Cartel initially for music. Yes. Right. And during that time, when you joined Red Cartel for music, was Mr. Williams doing music as well? Um, I don't think me and him was like really hanging around that time. Okay. If I recall, I don't think we was. I knew him, but we weren't like every day then. But do, were you aware if he was doing music at all at that time when you were with Red Cartel? I can't remember. It's that been a long time ago, man. Let's go. He been back. doing music a long time, though. Let's go back to around 2012 when you said YSL was formed. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you were already a part of Red Cartel, which was a music group, why was there a need to form YSL to do music? So, um, a lot of the guys I was in Red Cartel, we had like went to prison or like moved on. They life like gay wrap up, and in between that time, I had a, like gay wrap up too. I had to find a way to pay bills. I was my mom's oldest son, and we kept getting put out lights off. <clears throat> You said you had to find a way to pay bills? Yes. And what way did you find to pay bills? The streets. What do you mean? Any means. Any means in the streets. Okay. I didn't have a job, so if I had to take it, if I had to do whatever, I, I had to get it. I was my mom's oldest son. I was the only man in the house. And when you say you had to take it, what do you mean? Rob.
Now, I know we talked about YSL. What does YSL stand for? It had a, a couple different meanings. Okay. What were they? Um, young Slime Life, Young Successful Life, Young Successful Lifestyle. A couple different meanings. What came first? Um, so when we made it, I don't remember like which one we decided first, but I know it, it came from the, um, the YSL, like clothing brand. So between Young's, were, were you calling yourself Young Slime Life before Young Successful Life, or were you calling yourself Young Successful Life, then Young Slime Life? I can't remember which one it was for us first. Okay. I what? think when we was thinking about the names, like both of those was an option, and then like both of them just stuck. What does slime mean? Uh, it means a lot of things. I, I, from my recollection, I first heard it in rap before we even came up with why I said. You first heard who rap? I heard it in rap, like rap songs, rap lyrics. So what did it mean when you heard it in a rap song? Mm, I think it meant like different. From my understanding, I thought it meant different meanings, like brother, my partner, my blood, you know. When you all created Young Slime, like what did you all want or define it or want it to mean? Mm, I think like my brother. So why did you call yourself Young Brother like? That don't even sound like that. It's, no, it's not appealing to the industry, that one, young brother like that one. So you said that it was multiple meanings. So one meaning was brother. What were some of the other meanings behind slime? Um, some of the other meanings behind slime. My brother, my blood. Like when I say blood, do I mean like my blood, like thick like blood. <clears throat> All right, so we have brother, blood, what else? Mm. We weren't really saying it back then, but like my twin, they saying that now, that's popular now, like my twin. So was slime only to reference the relationship between you and the other individuals? Yeah, like it was, like it was thick, like Ned and Cabrera type. It was like a... I don't really know the word, but it's supposed to mean like unity. <clears throat> now, yesterday, um, we talked a little bit about sex, money, murder. Do you remember? Mm, yes. When it came to the formation of YSL, were you YSL before you were claiming SMM? Or uh, were you SMM before uh, claiming YSL? <laughs> You asked me to think about it a long time ago. I think I was claiming SMM before. Is or calling myself SMM before. Is that what your answer is? Yes. All right. Do you recall um, giving a proper statement back in February of 2016 here in the courthouse? Yes. All right. And you remember that it was a prosecutor um, with the Fulton County District Attorney's Office um, your attorney, as well as investigator and investigator Dennis um, at that property. Do you remember that? Yes. All right. And do you recall them asking you about um, YSL and SMM? I don't remember, like, specifically what they said, but I'm pretty sure that was one of the questions. They had to ask me, like, a series of questions. And in that proffer, you said that it was YSL before blood, and then YSL became SMM. You remember that? No, I don't remember saying that, but I told you at that point, I would have said anything to get back to my son. Okay. Was YSL supposed to be an Atlanta set of sex money murder? No. no. Was there any decision by you Blood, Little Jeff, um, about not going under or being a part of the sex money murder structure. 
I don't think it was like sex money. I think it was like being blood, period. I, I recall something like that, though, like a conversation like that. At the same time, we was coming up with all of it. And when you say you recall a conversation like that, what did you do? I think I was one of the ones who was saying we needed it because I had already been calling myself blood. And I knew, like, it was other big rappers that was calling themselves blood that made it easily. So you wanted to be under the SMM structure? The blood structure. I felt like that would have brought up, like, publicity or whatever. Now, I think yesterday, right when we left off, we were talking about whether or not YSL members had to assist with payment of bond or putting money on people's commissary. Do you remember that? Yeah, I know. Uh, yes, I remember talking about that. <clears throat> Did members of YSL have to assist with payments of bond or putting money on people's commissary? I think I answered that yesterday. I told you, like, it wouldn't have been, like, mandatory or nothing like that, but. Do you recall in that same um, proper statement um, that you made here in February of 2016, um, telling both Investigator Dennis, Investigator Gaither, and the prosecutor that as a member of YSA, you made money however you could get it, that you, if you had to rob, you had to steal, whatever you had to do. And whatever you got in proceeds, you had to give about $150 to a red box or put in a red box to assist with any other member who may have be in prison or who may need money. I'm going to inject your Is to... I'm gonna rule the objection, okay? Do you remember saying that? No, I don't. But I told you at that point. You said February? February of 2016. My son was born in August, and she was eight months pregnant when I got locked up, so I would have said anything to get back to him at that point. Your son was born in August of 2015 or August of 2016? 2015, August 16th. Okay. But during that proper agreement or that proper conversation where you just giving information about the crime for which you were arrested for. Were you giving information about that? Can you ask that again? Sure. During your proper agreement, were you given information about the crime in which you were arrested? That I committed, yeah. And were you given other information about YSL, the gang? I don't remember. I don't remember doing that, but I told you at that point I would have cut my arm off. I would have lied to anybody to get back home. And why would that particular lie about what YSL did as far as money help you get home? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I just probably was saying it, thinking it helped me get back home. I don't know. So are you saying that did not occur when you were part of the I don't program? remember it. I, I know I had an interview, though. Uh, they asked me a series of questions. I don't remember the questions. Let me ask and you. I don't remember my answers to the questions. Let me ask a better question. Are you saying today now that you did not have to give $150 and put into this red box? I never did that. You never did that. Did other people do that? Not by my knowledge. So why would you say that during that interview? Just Trying to make it. I want the answer. I've seen the objection. Now, YSL, did, were there any particular colors that was associated with YSL? I mean, it wasn't really associated, but the color of slime was already green, and we was calling ourselves Young Slime Life, so it was just like, 
Posters would make it green or something like that. Was there Shirts, any if it had white well, cell on it, would probably be green or something. Was there any other color? No, not to my knowledge. Yes. Okay. I want you to turn to page two. And I want you to go to number six. Excuse me. Number four, which says defendants acknowledge. Does it say defendants acknowledgments when it's when you look at number four? Yes. And then four A says, does it say all statements below are truthful? Yes. Okay, I want you to go down to number six. Did you initial number six? Yes. And what does number six say? Some of the identifiers of YSLR. Okay, what does it say at A? Wearing green or red bandana. Okay. Now I want you to also go down to number seven. Did you initial number seven? Yes. What did you, what does it say? Some colors of YSL are red for blood and green for slime. So, was there another color outside of green that YSL used? Yeah, but that was on the only color, though. I mean, you could wear any color. Yeah. But specifically for YSL, based upon what you acknowledge in here, is red a color that was symbolic for YSL? Yes. As well as green? Yes. When you founded YSL, did you have particular hand signs that you all used? Yes. What were they? You can show the jury. It was just a hand sign. It's just three fingers. Is that the only one you had? <clears throat> uh, yes, to my knowledge. Okay. I want you to go to page three of your factual acknowledgement. And do you see number eight at the top of the page? Yes. Did you um, initial number eight? Yes. Okay. And what did number eight say? Well, I said you several hand signs, which some of which are wiping the nose with the index finger, curling the ring and pinky finger, inward towards the palm while extending the index and thumb with the middle finger slightly curved. So for B, is that the symbol that you just threw up? Yes. Okay. So then A, is that a symbol that you all use? Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I didn't think that was like a hand sign. That was like a, Hand and face sign. Okay, so you consider that a hand and face sign. Yeah. It, it, can you demonstrate that hand and face sign for the jury? It's just like wipe your nose. Okay. Do you do it like what you just did, or do you do something else? You just wipe your nose. Okay, so you do both. That this, which is like grabbing it together and then wiping it with one finger? No, just one. Just one finger? Yeah. Okay. Did some members wear clothing articles <coughs> symbolic of YSL? Did some, you mean like the designer or? No, not the designer. Well, did people wear YSL the designer back in 2012 and 2013? Yeah, it's a popular brand. Okay. What about shirts that just talk about YSL, not the designer, not Issa Laurent, but YSL Young Slime Life? <clears throat> yeah, we promoted the record label with shirts that said YSL. Before there was a record label where you had shirts that claimed YSL on there. 
I ain't really sure what what year it became a, like a real record label, but yeah. So you're saying before it became a record label, y'all weren't sure to have wine yes. <clears throat> Did some individual wear jewelry that had YSL or slime? Yes. Slap. Yes. Is there any... Right there. Yesterday we talked about black. You remember us having a mm -hmm. conversation about black? Outside of black, was there any other language that members of YSL would use? Like slack or slime? Okay. Anything else? Not to my knowledge, that was it, I think. Members of YSL, what would they refer to Cleveland? What would they say about Cleveland Africa? <clears throat> What would they say about Cleveland? Let me ask you a better question. Did everyone always call Cleveland Avenue Cleveland Avenue? It had a lot of different names, but no. What were some of the other names in which some people would reference Cleveland Avenue? Bleeding. That was one of them. I can't remember the other ones, but I remember. And why would... Um, why would Cleveland Avenue be called Bleeding Avenue? I don't know. You had to ask about Cleveland. Did you ever call Cleveland Avenue Bleeding Avenue? Yes. Why did you call it Cleveland Avenue? Because I heard everybody else doing it. Did you ever ask why we are calling Cleveland Avenue Cleveland Avenue? No. You don't ask questions like that. Why not? You just don't. <laughs> well, I didn't. Now, you talked about your Twitter account back in 2012, 2013, 2014. Were you on any other social media? Yeah, I think I did have like an Instagram. I probably had a Facebook. I probably had all that back then. And did other members of YSL have social media? Yeah, everybody had social media. On social media, were there particular emojis that members of YSL would use? Or in text messaging? Um, yeah. Okay. What were some of those emojis? Um, a green heart, green snake. Are you looking at your acknowledgement to see the other ones you acknowledged? No. Okay. Are you still thinking about others? No, you said it's on. Okay. Looking at Stacey Dibble 1 CC um, page 3. Were there other emojis that you in, that you acknowledged were some of the symbols that YSL used? Yes. What are they? They say sea blowing nose and green vomit emoji. Okay. And you said it says that. Did you initial and acknowledge that those are some of the symbols that YSL used? Yes. Right. Now, I want you to take a look around the room. And besides Jeffrey Williams, can you please identify other members of YSL? It's a lot of people, huh? <coughs> I just know two other people. I don't know all the other ones. Okay, who are the two other people that you know in this room that are members of YSL? I know Yet and uh, Shannon. And when you say Yet, if you can identify who you're talking about by article of clothing that he's wearing. He got on a gray vest. Your Honor, let the record reflect that um, Mr. Murphy has identified Mr. Kendrick. Yes, yeah. Um, and you said that's what is Shannon? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. What, does she, what is Shannon wearing? Uh, I can't really see it. clothing, but he's sitting next to... Uh, the dude in the back with the blue... Okay. 
by it, it'll the record will reflect so. Thank you. <laughs> and are those the only two individuals that you know in this room? Other than LaJell? Yeah, other than Mr. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you about a few other people. Do you know if an individual by the name of Khalif Adams, also known as Bobby Hunt, is a member of YSL? Bobby Hunt? Yes. Do you know their name? Uh, I met him in Rush Creek like a minute ago. Okay. To your knowledge, was he a member of YSL? I don't know. He's from the West Side. I don't... Okay. What about Martinez Arnold, also known as Duke? Yeah, Duke was an artist on the label, too. He's a rapper. Was he a part of the gang YSL as well? Um, I mean, yeah. Um, have you heard of an individual, Durante BB, also known as B or B or B? No. Okay. What about Damone Blaylock, also known as Bali? No. Javoris Bradford, also known as Tuda? No. Justin Cobb, also known as Duop? No. Cordarius Dorsey, also known as Polo, or also known as Juicy. No. Christian Aperture, excuse me, Christian Aperture, also known as Briss. No. What about Miles Farley, also known as Slotto or Little Miles? I remember him from like a long time. I know his daddy. Do you know um, him? No, not like Cordra, no. We say not quarter. Do you know him to be a member of YSL? No. When I remember him, he was in school. Were y'all in school at the same time? No. He was probably 10 years younger than me or something like that. He's much younger than you. Yeah. What about Javon Fleetwood, also known as Fortrait, also known as Psycho? No. Damikion Garlington, also known as D or also known as Scarface? Yeah, I know Scarface. Okay. Do you know him to be a member of YSL? I don't know. He he from the West Side too. I don't think. I don't think he was YSL. I think he was uh. Objection, Your Honor. speculation. I stand the objection. I'll form the question. Do you know if he was a part of another group? I think he was with McCannaville. I don't really know if he was with nobody else. What about Quantavius Greer, also known as Uncle? I know his family. How do you know his family? I grew up with him. And is he related to anyone? Um, is he related to Mr. Williams? Yes. <laughs> How is he related to Mr. Williams? That's his brother. Was Uncle a part of YSL? Uncle was in prison when we. And what I said, I don't see how that would coincide. Okay. When he got out of prison, do you know if he was a part of YSL? I was in prison when he got out of prison. Okay. So you're passing across on the street. Until you put me in that, in Rush Street with him. Okay. Mark, Mark Quay, do you do you know that name? Or Quay? No. Okay. Talked about yet, Gotti. What about Sergio Kitchens, also known as Gunner? No. Never met him a day in my life. What about Rudy Lee, also known as Slime Life Shorty? Never met him until you put me in Rush Street with him. Okay. What about Demise McMullen, also known as Nard? Yeah, I'm, I know Nard. Okay, is Nard YSL? Yeah. What about Tinquarius Mender, also known as Nard, or also known as Stunner? I don't know that person. You don't know him? No. Nah. Right. What about Jaden Myrick, also known as Set Trip, and also known as J Man? Never heard of him. Um, Quarmavius Nichols, also known as Quay. No, you just already asked me that person, didn't you? No, I asked you about Marquavius Huey. You said no to him. And Quarmavius Nichols, is that no? No, I don't know, I don't know. What about Rodalius Ryan or Little Rod? No. Antonio Sled Sledge, or aka Moonton. Yeah, I know. Okay. And is he YSL? Yeah. All right. And we talked about Trontavia Stevens, he's YSL? Well, he's a founder with you. I heard the answer that. Mm -hmm. What about Antonio Sumlin Obama, also known as Obama? No, I thought he was in prison when I was on the street, and then when he came home, I heard him, though, like I know of him, but we never crossed that. You know of him being part of YSL? 
No. And then what about Jimmy Winfrey, also known as Roscoe or Pee Wee Roscoe? Yeah, I know Roscoe. And it's um, Roscoe Liza. See, that's where it get tricky. I don't know if he was like he. I just know him from working with the label. I don't know nothing about him being in the streets. Okay. Now, what about Kelvin Treadwell, also known as OG Bentley? I remember that name. Yeah, that's the older dude from the neighborhood. You said you only remember his name. Do you know who he is? I had to think about it. He's an older dude from the neighborhood. Okay. So do you only know him as an older dude from the neighborhood? Um, I've been, I hung around him before. Like, I went to the went to the club with him, kicked it with him. And is he a part of YSL? I think he's another person who I think worked for the label for like a slight second. Prior to a label being formed, was he a part of YSL? No. What about Kenneth Copeland, also known as Little Woody? I heard him, but we never, like, hung out on him. Are you saying you've never been around Kenneth Copeland? In the club. Okay. Is he wise up? Um, what about Darius Ford, a.k.a. Big? Do you know him? No, nah, I know. Okay. I don't know that person. <clears throat> you already talked about Christian McMiller. Outside of Jeffrey Williams and Trontavia Stevens, with any of the other individuals that you've identified as being part of YSL, do you have any close relationship with them? No. I'm going to show you. You have permission to approach? You may, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Murphy, I'm showing you what's already been marked as six of the six, Charlie Charlie. So you recognize um, individuals within six, Charlie Charlie. Yes. And how do you recognize the people in six, excuse me, six Charlie Charlie? What you mean? How do I recognize them? Like, how do you know them? From being around them. Okay. And is that a fair, accurate depiction of the individuals that you know within that picture? Yes. All right. You're right. This time, the state would like to tender state's exhibit six Charlie Charlie into evidence. Any objections, state six Charlie Charlie? Uh, it's the same thing with the words, but I was told that those would be redacted. And this is good. You want to look at it? All right, 6 Charlie Charlie, uh, as redacted, is admitted and may be published as you see fit. Now, looking at 6 Charlie Charlie, um, can you, I know you don't like the stick, but I'm going to need you to either use the stick. Tell me who are the people in that picture. I don't know who that is in the back. But Which in the back? This person here? Yeah, I don't know who that is, but that's me in the green, and then that's Tunk. 
And then a white shirt. They're Dolly. Right here is Dolly? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you know who that other young lady is to the back? I think yeah, they're Dora. Okay. Yeah, that's Dora. Okay. Yeah, that's Dora. Okay. Yeah, that's Dora. Okay. And is that the same Dolly and Dora that you, we talked about yesterday? Mr. Williams' sisters. That I grew up with? Yes. Yeah. Now, we'll also show you Mr. A Murphy was already been admitted as 18U. Do you see yourself inside of 18 Mr. Murphy? Yes. Okay. And where are you in, depicted in that picture? At the bottom left. And who? Do you know anyone else in that picture? I know two other people. Who are the two other people that you know in that picture? That boat right there. And then that, uh, okay. Okay. that's boat, yeah. Where? Who's boat? To my right, I think. Which yeah. one? Uh, right here. To the right, yeah. Okay. And cool. then that tip with the uh with the white shirt on, yeah. Right here. Uh -huh. And is this that same individual that you did not know from yesterday? <coughs> I, don't, like I, don't know, I don't know. I don't even remember. He's like younger than me. I'm going to also show you uh, 18 U. Mr. Murphy, you just said that you you didn't know the individual I pointed to who were in a couple of the pictures yesterday. How do you know he's younger than you? I don't, I don't remember him like that. I remember him just being younger than me. I seen him around, though. Okay, so you know who he is, but you just don't, you never had a conversation Yeah, with him. I never really, like, was cordial with him. I ain't never. Okay, so you know him, but you didn't have a relationship or a yeah. friendship with him. All right. Number one play was also was already been admitted as exhibit eighteen U. Mm -hmm. Is this off of Cleveland Avenue? 
Like in a clean every neighborhood. Now, we talked about a number of different names of individuals, um, whether or not they are YSL. How did you determine if those people were in YSL? Because initially started off as you, um, Mondo, Slug, and Mr. Williams, right? Uh -huh. But there are a number of different names that we just talked about. How did Shannon become a part of YSL? I just remember him from being at the studio rapping with us. So, I mean, that was, that's how I even met him at the studio. And at the club, promoting. What about Nard? How did he become part of YSL? The same, promoting, being with us. So if you promoted, was that a way to automatically become part of YSL? In my world, yeah. Now, in this song, is it E or you? Hmm? This is the video that was played. What was the song title? What was the song title? I can't remember. It's a lot of songs. Um, it talked about wipe a nigga nose. What did that mean? It's called ill ill. It's called ill ill. Yeah, okay. I had to think about it. In there, there's a verse about wipe a nigga nose. What does that mean? Um, what does that mean? I stand the objection. What was your understanding of what wipe a nigga nose meant? All right, when you wipe your nose. In I that, stand in support. You gonna lay a little more foundation. Sure. Down. In that video, were you rapping the lyrics to that song? Yes. Okay. And in rapping the lyrics to that song, what was your understanding of what you were rapping? <clears throat> I, don't know. I just wrote a lot of songs. I I like music. If I like the beat and the lyrics, then I just rap it. And I don't really think about what it means. Mr. Murphy, you have tattoos on your body? Yes. Okay. A lot. A lot. A that lot. I regret. You regret? Mm -hmm. All right. About how many tattoos do you have? Um, I ain't never counted. Okay. So we're going to talk about a few of them, okay? Okay. All right. Um, in the front of your face, do you have a tattoo with the letters DK? Yes. All right. And when did you get that tattoo? <sighs> Boy, I cannot remember. Was that one of your first tattoos? I don't even remember my first tattoo. I don't, I've been had it though. Okay. Okay. I can't find a picture or nothing. My mama don't even got a picture with me without it. Okay. So about how old were you, do you think, when you got the tattoo? No, I started getting tattoos in middle school. And why did you get DK tattooed on you? That's my name. Why did you choose that placement? in the middle of your forehead for DK? Because mm, I wanted to be a rapper and I seen rappers doing it. Is there any reason why the K is backwards? <laughs> no, I just wanted to be different. You also have YSL tattooed on you? Yes. How many YSL tattoos do you have on you? Is it just one? You mean like the, like the letter? Yeah, the letter YSL. Yeah, I think it's, I can't really think about it. I got a lot of tattoos, but I know this one right here on my face though. Okay. Do you have slime or anything else like that tattooed on you? I got a snake on my face okay. and slat on my face. You have slat and the snake on your face. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when you got your YSL tattoo? I think I was in, I don't know. <laughs> I think I was in, in Rush Street to be, when I first got it, but I got it, I think I got it redone when I got out there. Okay. Why did you get a YSL tattoo on your face? <clears throat> the same reason. I wanted to be a rapper, and that's what I was, that was the rap group then, so I put it on my face. And 
What about sled? Where is sled at on your face? I think it's on. It's on one of these sides right by my ear. Do you mind if I approach you? Yeah. Is it right there? Oh. It is. It's, it's on this snake. Yeah. Okay. Oh, behind that one. Whichever. Behind. Why do you have sled tattooed on your face? Mm, the same reasons. There was like... I don't know how to put it, but that was like our motto for like the group. So that was like one of the things we said. And we said, was that the meaning of slime love all the time? Yes. All right. And then what about the snake? Why did you get the snake on your face? Mm, originally, that's supposed to have been like the logo. So it would be like a Y, a snake, and then an L, like for like shirts and stuff like that. And what color is the snake on your face? It's green. <clears throat> Do you have successful tattooed on you at all? Mm, no, I got a lot of tattoos. I don't remember getting that one though. And do you have successful tattooed on your face? No. Permission to approach? to approach? You may, ma'am. I'm sure you listen to Marcus. They said two Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize they said two Charlie Charlie? Yes. And how do you recognize that you said two Charlie Charlie? That's me. Okay. And is that your Instagram handle? It was. It was your Instagram yeah. handle. And is that a fair accurate picture of a picture that was on your Instagram handle back when we had an Instagram handle? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, is this something like Senator States Exhibit 2 Charlie Charlie's Tattoos? Any objection to States 2 Charlie Charlie? No All right. States 2 Charlie Charlie's admitted may be published as you see fit. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, look at Stacey Exhibit 2, Charlie Charlie. Back in July of 2014, when this Instagram um, post was posted, what was your um, Instagram handle? YCLDK. And what is the caption that you have on the bottom of this um, picture? YSL for life. <clears throat> and again, is this you with the YSL tattoo on your face? Yes. Thank you. Do you also have a tattoo Haiti on your face? Yes. What was the significance of tattooing Haiti on your face? Uh, that's little Jeff's daughter now. Okay. So did you um, tattoo that in honor of his daughter? Yes. Okay. Do you recall when you got that tattoo? No, ma'am. Do you recall, I don't, I don't think I actually, if I did, please forgive me, when you got the snake and the slack tattoo on your face? Um, I don't recall when I got it, but I've been had it for a long time. Let me ask you, which came, did you get all three of those tattoos at the same time? The YSL, the slack, and the snake? Mm -mm. Is that a no? No. Which one came first? The 
Why? Why sell? Why sell? What's up? You remember which is the second, the snake or the slap? I don't remember. Okay. Your Honor, permission to approach. Yes. With a member of defense. Yes. <laughs> All right. All rise.
Be seated. All right, um, Ms. Houghton, you may continue with the examination. <clears throat> so my last question on your tattoos, particularly YSL, the slat and snake, why did you choose to get it on your face versus another part of your body? <clears throat> I wanted to be a rapper. When I was getting them, that was popular what rappers was doing, putting tattoos in their face. What was popular what rappers were doing? Putting tattoos in their face. As a founder member of YSL, and I'm talking about when it evolved into the gang, what was your role in YSL? I was just rapping. I didn't have a, a role, like a... So when you said it evolved into a gang, what's your distinction between a rap group and the gang? I don't understand that question. Sure. Can you dumb it down? In the plea agreement on page two, Section 4A1 to the YSL, otherwise known as Young Slime Life, began as a neighborhood group, but then evolved into a gang. So if it changed from a group to a gang, what was that distinction? What was that change? I think, so you're asking me like my part in it? That's what you asked me? What was it this why did it become a, why was it a group first and how did it become a gang? Um, I think it became a gang when I got committed for the crimes I did. Okay, so And I was what? I stopped rapping and started back robbing and being in the streets. Okay. Were you the only person committing crimes in YSL that were part of YSL? I don't know what nobody else was doing. Okay. I'm going to actually look at page three. And number 11. Uh-huh. I will wait for it to scroll down. Can you read what it says? Members of and associates of YSL have committed crimes and furtherance of YSL. And these crimes included, but are not limited to the following. Murder, attempted murder, aggravated assault, robbery, death, 
Illegal drug possession. Illegal firearm possession. Okay. And then I want to go to page four. And I want you to read number 12. I have personal knowledge that members and or associates of YSL participated in or contributed to YSL by committing at least one of the acts listed in 4A. Okay. It says 4A12, but listed in what was before. So again, outside of you, are you aware of other YSL members who were committing crimes? I mean, they was locked up around the same time I was locked up, so... So who was that? A lot of us got locked up in 2015. I can't. It was like majority. All of us got locked up in 2015. Now, what crimes did you commit as a part of YSL? I had a, a series of charges. I can't really remember. What, like, were, what were some of them? Attempted murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault, the ones that's listed. How many convictions do you have? I'm not sure. I have a lot of convictions. <laughs> have you been convicted with any other YSL member for any crimes? Yeah, not. And what was that for? Attempted murder. Do you know a person by the name of Arshillian Bennett? Yeah, I ain't remember her. When I ain't remember her real name, but you you made me remember who she was, though. When was that? When did I make you remember? When we talked that time. I don't remember the date. Okay. How do you know her? How do you know her? I grew up with her. Okay. What do you call her? Shay. And you said you grew up with her. Where did y'all grow up at? Um, Cleveland Avenue area. She used to watch my firstborn daughter. How close in age are you with Shay? I ain't really sure. I know she was out of school before me, so she older than me. I don't know like the exact number. And you said she used to watch your um, oldest daughter. How back then? About how old was your daughter when she was watching her? I can't remember what she was. She was a kid though, like a little baby. What year was your oldest daughter born? 2008 or nine, I don't know. I think eight. Whenever I was 17, she was born. So, yeah. So, so when you were 17, so. I 2008, right? 2008. Mm -hmm. Do you know her to be a member of a gang? Mm. I mean, she used to wear like red and stuff, but I don't know if she was like a, like a real blood or not. You said you know her as Shay. Did you know her as anything else? Um, I don't know. I'll call her number Shay. Do you remember when we met? Telling me that her name. She also went by LV. I probably did say that. I don't remember that. Though. I remember like solely calling her Shay. Now, you said that she was babysitting your daughter in 2008. Let me ask you, I'm sorry. In 2008, when your baby was a newborn, is that when she would watch your daughter? No, she was, like, already walking, so she had it was probably been, like, one or two. two. So we're talking about 2009 or 2010. Mm, like, probably around that time. How long did she watch your daughter? Like, was it years? Was it months? I ain't really sure. She won. Like, she ain't watching for me. She watching for my baby mama, so I don't really, I don't. 
Oh, for how long? It went on. But I remember picking my daughter up from her a couple times. So, Shay had a relationship with your child's mother, not mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. And but I knew her though. I, we had, we was cool too. It wasn't like no, we were in a relationship or nothing like that. But we was cool. You and Shay were cool. Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. Would you all hang out with each other? No, nah, that would be kind of weird. My baby mama wouldn't approve of that. Yeah. You said that you would pick your daughter up from Shay's house. At the time, if you recall, where was Shay living when you picked your child up from home? In the same apartment my baby mama stayed in on Cleveland. Avenue. Was that the only location in which you would um, pick your child up from Shay's house? Yes. The apartment of Cleveland. Yes. Did you? Ever know an individual by the name of Micah Anderson? That player, yeah, I know, I I knew him. And you said that's player. Yeah. Is that his nickname? Yeah. Okay. How do you know um, Micah Anderson? Player, as you call him. That's Shay, old man. When you say Shay's old man, what do you mean for the jury? What do you mean? That's her boyfriend. I think they got a kid too. I ain't sure. Do you know um, if she was watching your daughter in about 2009, 2010, do you know at that time how long her and Michael Anderson had been dating? No, I ain't know him then. They they weren't together then. No, that ain't accurate. <laughs> so when she was at Cleveland Avenue, she was not with Michael Anderson, to your knowledge? Mm. That's a no? No. Do you know when she met with or got with Micah Anderson? I don't know. To your knowledge, do you know if Shay and Micah ever um, stayed in the same location together? Yeah, they they had an apartment together. Do you know where that apartment was? I I don't really. It was like... I think it was in zone three though, but I don't know like remember where exactly it was at though. Okay. Why do you think it was in zone three? Cause it wasn't that far. Like we ain't had, I ain't had to get on the expressway to get there. Why would you have gone to her house? I was I was hanging with him. Okay. And is this and to be clear, this is not the house on Cleveland Avenue where you were picking your daughter. No. This is a different location. Yeah. Now, if we know that she was watching your daughter in 2009 and 2010, about how old was your daughter when you were hanging out with, um, were you hanging out with both Shay and Player or just Shay or Player? No, nah, I was just hanging with Player. I don't Okay. Why would I hang with his lady? That ain't. So you never hung with Shay? Yeah. Okay. When you were hanging out with Playa, about how old was your daughter? I can't recall how old she was then. But is it fair to say it was after 2010? <coughs> yeah. How did you meet Playa? Mm, I think in the studio, if I can recall. I might be wrong. It might be the club or something like that. It was out, though. Was player in a game? <clears throat> he claimed blood. I don't know if he was, like, a real blood or not, though. And outside of player, did he have any other nicknames? Yeah. What's that? King Slime. When you reference him, did you reference him as player or King Slime? Mm, 
if I talked to him, I would say player, but if, like, if we did a song together and his name was on, I would have put King Slime. Yeah. How often would you hang out with player? Um, just at the studio or if I had a call him to get some lean or something from him. To get some weed? Some lean. Lean? Lean. lean. Yeah. Did he sell lean? Yeah. Were you aware if he sold anything else? No. No, he did not? I don't, I'm not aware of that. Okay. When you said you would hang with him at the studio, about how often would you hang with him at the studio? Whenever he stopped by, or whenever I call him for Celine. So whenever he would stop by the studio, mm -hmm. is that a yes? Yes. How often were you at the studio? <laughs> well, God, I went to the studio, a lot of studios, a lot of different studios. And would he just randomly, randomly be at all the studios that you would go to, or was it one particular studio? I mean, he was a rapper too, so he might have a room in the same building or something like that. Or he might just call and be like, where you at? I'm like, I'm at the yo, I'm here to pull up. When you went to go purchase lean from him, where would you go to go purchase lean? Wherever he was at. Did you ever go to his home to purchase lean? Yeah. And is that that same place you said you would just get on the highway and go to? I said we didn't have to get, I didn't have to get on the highway. If there was a landmark, was there any familiar landmarks around where Player was living um, when you would go to go get lean or to hang with him? I can't really remember. I don't even think about stuff like that. I, I know of some, some apartments. Back, when you would go to go get lean with player or from player at his apartment, would you ever go with anyone else? I would go wherever he was at, not just at his apartment. Specifically at his apartment, I'm gonna talk about his apartment. Would you ever go to his apartment with anyone else? Mm. If if somebody else was in the car with me, then yeah, but I wouldn't just take nobody to his house like this. Have you ever hung out with Playa and Mr. Williams? Yeah. Where would y'all hang out at? The studio, the club, same places. How often would y'all go to the club together? Whenever we go clubbing, if we in the same vicinity or we together before the club, we go to the club, but I can't remember how often. In 2013, where y'all going to the club? Daily, weekly, <clears throat> monthly, approximately. How long, how often were y'all going to the club? I don't know. I want to recall. I know I wouldn't go to the club if I was broke. I'd be on some other stuff, but I wouldn't go to the club if I was broke, so. <clears throat> Have you ever been to Playa's home? And let me back up. Was Playa living with Shay back in this time frame that we're talking about um, at the apartment that you could get to without getting on the highway? Yeah, it was a couple people living there. It was a couple people. Who else besides Playa and Shay were living at that apartment? Uh, I think it was like his cousin or something. Her, might have been her cousin. It was a dude. And they, her kids. <coughs> how many kids did she have at the time? I think she had like three. Huh? I can't recall how many. It was kids and other. Had you ever been to her home, to their home, on in May of 2013? I can't recall that. <laughs> Did you ever go to her home with you, Mr. Williams, and one of Mr. Williams' brothers? One of his brothers? Yes. Mm. 
No, not one of his brothers. <laughs> All his brothers are way older than us. They don't hang with us. Have you ever been to his home with her home with you, Mr. Williams, and any other person? Yeah, uh, player. Outside of player? No. Have you, Mr. Williams, ever been to their home together? I just answered that word, player. Have you ever been to the home when player was not there? No, that would be kind of weird. <clears throat> Are you... Have you ever gone to Shay's house without player and an individual put a gun to the back of her head? No. What about you robbing or taking her belongings? Could be cash, a baby book bag, Beast by Dre headphones, and her weapon and her gun. No. What about shooting her gun at or in her direction while she was holding her baby? I did a lot of stuff. I ain't never did nothing with nobody I grew up with or nothing like that, especially not no female. To your knowledge, um, I know you said that play, you can get leave from play. To your knowledge, did Shay sell drugs? Mm, not to my knowledge, but I mean, like, um, I never seen her sell drugs. Um, <clears throat> Did you and Shay ever have any beef with each other? I don't beef with women. Did you and her ever get into any arguments or fights? I don't hate women. I never had to miss the violence, ever. Did you ever have any beef or disagreement with play? No. Did you ever try to steal any heroin from Shaq? Heroin? Heroin. I did a lot of drugs. I ain't never did heroin. Never did heroin. I don't even know how that look. <clears throat> Have you ever been to Shay's house with you, Buck Buck, and um, Mr. Williams? Yeah, I think that accurate with player. With player? Yeah. And player was present when you all were there? Yes. Did you ever sit down and smoke weed with Shay and player wasn't there? Just you, Mr. Williams, and Buck Buck. I ain't even know she smoked weed. Did you ever steal heroin, or did Buck Buck ever steal heroin in your presence from Shay with you and Mr. Williams present? Buck Buck, my friend, but he, he a thief. He stole a lot. So. Have you ever stole? He stole from a lot of people we went around. A lot of girls we had around. Specifically asked about heroin. I ain't never seen no heroin. I don't, I don't call it. Have you ever had any stolen heroin from Shay and called her and offered to return the heroin back to her? I ain't never gave nothing I took from nobody. I ain't never gave nothing back I took. Never gave anything back. And speaking about that, you said you were robbed. Who would you rob? Huh? Say it again. You said, I'm um, asking you to say that again. Sure. Who would you rob? Like, would you rob the old ladies on the street corner? Never rob the lady. Okay. So who would you rob? People who got money. <laughs> How did you determine they were people who had money? I would have to see it. 
So it was somebody just flash the money, you was like, I need to go get it. Yeah, that probably would be the case. Now, when you were con doing the robberies, was that primarily in that Cleveland Avenue area, all over the city of Atlanta? Where would you um Right. It wasn't a particular area. If I knew I needed the money and my mama needed the money, I'd um, go find it. Did you try to target any particular type of people that you, you would have money? No. Did you ever rob drug dealers? I got locked up for robbing a drug dealer, so... So did you ever rob a drug dealer? Yeah. Now, you said you never had any beef with Shay, you never had any beef with Playa. Do you personally know any reason why she would make up a story about you? Ah. Uh, excellent. If yeah. he has any personal knowledge. I don't really you. I have no personal knowledge of that. I know what I heard, but I don't, I don't got no personal knowledge. All right. You just talked about being charged with or locked up for robbing a drug dealer. Was that one time, multiple times? How many times have you been locked up or charged with robbing a drug dealer? Once. once. I think. I yeah, once. And do you recall what year you took that plea? No, ma'am. Okay. Permission to publish? You I mean, not publish. Pro approach. Approach. Thank you. Mr. Mark, I'm showing you what's been marked as Stacey's Exhibit 17, Charlie, Charlie. Do you recognize Exhibit 17, Charlie, Charlie? This ain't my name. <laughs> I know what this is. It's like a, uh, yeah, it's like a, a spreadsheet of like my charges and stuff. And on 17 Charlie Charlie, is there an indictment number? Um, what is there? <clears throat> What's the criminal action number? Okay, that, that's, a, that's a criminal action number. What is it? 13 SC 122087. Okay. And flipping through. Stacey Gibbons, 17 charge. I just want you to look at it. Look and see if you recognize the charges within Stacey Exhibit 17, Charlie, Charlie. And, yeah, first, let's talk about the charges. Mm hmm Yes. Yes, you recognize the charges? Yeah, I don't think I got convicted of all them charges. I was charged with them. And did you plead to that case regarding the, the drug dealer that you robbed? Is that that case? Yes. That, is that that case? Yes. All right. Your Honor, this time I say by the tender states exhibit 17 Charlie Charlie as a self-authenticating document of indictment 13 SC 122087. Any objection to state 17 Charlie Charlie? Not on behalf of Mr. Lawyer. All right, it's admitted. Okay. Looking at Stacey's exhibit 17, Charlie Charlie, on the first page, can you tell what charge what charge you actually pled to?
Yeah, it's three of them. Okay, what were those charges? Uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, possession of a firearm, doing commission of a felony, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. And do you do you remember the circumstances upon which this case happened? Do you remember the facts of the case? What do that mean? What happened? I don't recall how that, that was, that was like, a long time ago, and that was, I got shot that day. Okay. Twice. So, mm. You got shot twice. Where did you get shot at? Uh, in my main artery, in my, one of my thighs. I can't remember. I think it's the, I think it's the left thigh and my right heel on my foot. How'd you get shot? I just remember waking up shot. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Do you remember what started that day before you got shot? I was real high. I don't remember what started it. Okay. What do you remember about that day before you got shot? I remember before I got shot? I don't remember that day before I got shot. I just remember waking up, like, in the hospital bed. Do you remember what happened before, at all? Before, do you remember being in the car that day? No. Do you remember shooting at anyone? No. Do you remember being in a car that went airborne and hitting a wall? No, I heard about it though. Do you remember if there was anyone with you that day before you got shot? I don't really remember who. Before I got shot? Before you got shot, I, I remember. I think I remember being with Buck before I got shot. Where were you? At? Where were you with Buck before <clears throat> you got shot? I think we was at Buck's house. I think. Okay. Was that the only person's house you were at that day? As far as I remember, that was a long time ago. I've been in a car wreck since then. Fresh my spinal cord. I had to go to surgery. I, I've been through a lot. Do you know someone by the name of Adrian B? Or B? Yeah, I know B. Do you recall being with him on the day that you got shot? I don't remember though, but I heard I was with him. You heard you were with him, but you don't remember being with him? No, I don't remember. Now on that day, I remember like hanging with him. How did you hear that you were with him? People told me that. <laughs> they okay. like, bro, you and Bean wrecked the car and brought somebody. When I woke up, I don't remember like what happened though. How many times have you been shot? All together? Yes. Four. So we know that this incident back in 2013, you were shot in your leg. What were the other three times that you were shot? You said where? On uh, my body? No. What were the other times? We know in 2013, you were shot. Yeah. And then I don't remember what year, but my mom house got shot up and I got hit twice. Is this... When you were younger, like when yeah, you were this was um, uh, this was after I had my second daughter, I think. And when did you have your second daughter? I don't know. I know my daughter's. God bless you. My daughter's is eleven months apart, so. And you said your first daughter was in two thousand eight, so I'm talking about around two thousand and nine. Yeah. Now, did you, your mom got? Excuse me. Your mom's house got shot up in two thousand and nine, or that's just when you had your daughter? I had just had her. She was like a newborn, so yeah. Okay. And you got shot while your mom's house got shot up? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then when was the third time you were shot? No, I got shot. I got hit twice then, too. Okay. So when you say you've been shot four times, do you mean... Two different occasions. Two different occasions being shot twice at both... Yeah. Both times. Right. Do you remember after being shot on this occasion in 2013, waking up in Grady Hospital? I've been in Grady so many times, man. Okay. I'm talking about after you They saved my life a lot of times. Grady's a great hospital. After getting shot in your leg twice after this incident in 2013, do you remember that? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Do you recall waking up at Grady Hospital? 
I don't I woke up after surgery, being put to sleep, anesthesia, other drug, other drug medicated. Like I don't, I remember waking up a lot of times. That great, I don't remember that time though. But you said you've only been shot on two occasions. Mm-hmm. Yes. And recently, you said when I woke up, people told me what happened. When you woke up, where were you? At Grady. Okay. So you were at Grady Hospital. Mm hmm When you woke up at Grady Hospital, do you recall speaking to police? No. I recall speaking to my mama and my siblings. Back in 2013, when this incident occurred, do you recall being in a car with Frederick Prothrow or Big Fred? I, I, people told me that. Um, do you recall being also in a car with Jeffrey Williams? No. no. Did anyone tell you that? No. Okay. But they told you about being, they told you about Prothrow. Yes. Now, do you remember back in 2009 the circumstances as to why or how, why your mom's house got shot? Do you know why your mom's house got shot? It was a drive by. Huh? Was your was your mother's home the target? <laughs> no, nah, I stand the objection. <laughs> Do you remember shooting at anyone on this day when you got shot? No. Do you remember anybody telling you? I'll judge your honor ask which day you think. Okay. Okay. Re uh, I'll stand the objection. Rephrase, please. Yes. Back in 2013, when you woke up at Grady Hospital, do you remember shooting at anyone while at, prior to going to Grady Hospital being shot? No, I don't remember nothing when I woke up. Do you call anyone telling you that you did shoot somebody? Objection closer here, sir. I stand the objection. So your testimony today, you don't remember anything that happened. Your recapping testimony. I stand the objection. You remember nothing of that day before you got shot? Objection asked and answered. Old. No, I don't. Bean, how long did you know Adrian Bean? Mm, I can't really remember how long I know him. He, he older than me, though, so. How much older is he than you? I don't know. He old, though. Did you ever hang um, at his spot on Macon Drive? I always thought that was Buck spot. Um, okay. Is is him and Buck Buck cool? Yeah, that's more Buck friend than mine. He's more Buck Buck friend than yours. Mm -hmm. How often would you go to Bean's house or Macon, or what you thought was Buck Buck's house? Or yeah, to so either pick up Buck or talk to Buck. Is it about twelve thirty? Almost yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it being almost twelve thirty this point in time, I'm gonna. I uh, suggest that we break for lunch. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you a little bit longer of a lunch hour today as the court has some unrelated business I need to take up. Um, it's my concern. It's part of my duties as a chief judge. So uh, I'm going to allow you to have lunch. Uh, and if you could come back for, um, I would say, uh, one, or should say, yeah, 150 or thereabouts, just make sure you're in your headquarters by that time. We'll go ahead and get started somewhere between 1.50 and um, 2 p.m. Bless you.
and bless you. And then we'll, um, we're going to work today to probably a little before four o'clock. And then that's going to be the extent of our, our duty day for today. Okay. And at such time, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about, um, just for planning purposes, some of your administrative days. So you can go ahead and put those on your calendar, um, from now through the end of June. Okay. I'm going to try and do that for you. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Murray admonitions. I'm going to go ahead and recess you for lunch. We'll see you back around 1.50, and with uh, we'll get started somewhere between 1.50 and 2 o'clock, okay? All right. All rise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Mr. Murphy, um, I'm going to release you for, for lunch. Don't discuss your testimony with anybody except the attorneys in this case. We'll see you back at 1.50 as well, okay? All right, thank you, sir. All right, counsels, uh, we'll be in recess, and I'll see you all back uh, for 1.50, okay? All right, we're in recess.
I'm still in the continuing one. Thanks, When you were shot, when your when you were shot, when your mother's house was shot up, what were you doing before the house got shot up? I was standing in the house. Okay. Do you remember what else happened that day? No. No. Now, when we left off, we were talking about Adrian B. Um, you said you had been to the house. You thought it was Buck Buck's house, but um, where Adrian's um, spot on Macon Drive. Yes. What type of spot was it? It was a spot. When you say a spot, what do you mean? <clears throat> like a, a house. Was it? Did anything happen in that house besides people sleeping? Mm, parties. Okay. Were they after hour parties or what kind of parties? It was just parties. I don't remember what hour it was. Okay. Did anything else happen at the house? They sold food. I remember that. Had you ever been in a car or driven with Adrian B? I don't understand what you're asking. Sure. Have you ever been in a car with Adrian B? I don't remember being in a car with him. You don't remember being in a car with him? Okay. Frederick Prothro, do you know who he is? Yeah. Okay. What did you, did you call him Fred, Frederick Prothro? Fred. Okay. Did you call him anything else? Just Fred. Okay. And how long did you know um, Mr. Prothro? Um, not long. I just heard about him and then he had got out of jail. Was he older or younger than you? Older. How much older? Do you remember? I don't know his age, but he was older than me. Had you ever been in a car with him? No. No. Now, you talked about um, the fact that you would rob people. When did you start robbing people? At what age? I can't remember what age I was. Have you been caught for every robbery you've done? Don't answer that. Rephrase that. Your Honor, we would be given any type of use of immunity. If huh? I'm sorry? Anything would be past the statute of limitation and we'd be given a use of immunity. I, I don't care. Just, just, just don't. He's not going to answer that question. Okay. You can rephrase the question, but not going to answer that question. The robberies that you've done, have you um, committed them with other YSL members? I already answered that. The one that I got caught with, the one I went to prison for. Was that a robbery that you went to prison for? That was for? a crime. I don't know. I'm talking specifically about robberies. <clears throat> Ask the question again? Sure. With the robberies that you have committed, have you committed any robberies with any other YSL members? No. Oh. Have you ever committed robberies with other people? Yes. Are you familiar with a person by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I heard that name before. Okay, how have you heard of that name? This trial, this case. Okay, prior to this case, had you heard of his name? That name, no. Okay, what name do you know of? Nut. Okay, and is that what you called him? Yeah. How do you know Nut? From being out, club, and stuff. Did you have a relationship with Nut? Uh, I wouldn't say it was a relationship. We knew each other, though. He had a relationship with my uh, kid's mother. What type of relationship did he have with, with your child's mother? They, I think they were from the same neighborhood. 
Is this the same child's mother <clears throat> who's friends with Shay? Yeah. And did Shay grow up with your child's mom in that same neighborhood? Do you know? I don't, I don't know. We live in the same neighborhood. To your knowledge, was Big Nut or Nut, as you called him, um, associated or affiliated with any gangs? I, I just, I just seen him at the club and stuff. I don't know. Okay. So I answer? never hung with him, so I don't know what he would yeah. call himself. Is your answer that you don't know what he is? I don't know. Okay. Do you recall having an interview with um, Detective Gaither and Detective um, Dennis at the Atlanta Police Department in August of 2016? Yeah, I recall the interview. Okay. And do you recall during that interview when they asked you about Nut? You told them that Nut was the head of If Gang? I, I would have said anything to get back home. Huh? Would there be any reason why telling the police that Nut was the head of If Gang would get you out of jail? It's probably something I heard from somebody else. Okay. But back in August 2016, you told the detectives that he was a part of If Gang. I don't remember saying that. <clears throat> Are you aware of his death in January of 2015? Yeah, he did. All right. Where were you back in January of 2015? At Grady Hospital. Why were you at Grady Hospital? A fractured spinal cord. How did you get your fractured spinal cord? Car accident. Do you remember when the car accident was? Not the exact day, but it was early January. It was in early January? How long were you in Grady um, with your fractured spinal cord? I don't remember how long I was in there. You don't remember how long? No, I remember I seen that on, on the TV, though, on the news. So you saw his murder on the news while you were in the hospital? I saw his pictures. They say he did. I, don't, I ain't never seen nobody get murdered. I can't hear you. I never seen nobody get murdered. I seen them say he got murdered at his picture on the news. Okay. And said you don't remember when you came out of the hospital in 2015. No, I don't. I don't remember the exact day. Do you remember the month? It was that same month. So you got out of the hospital that same month in January Yeah. Back in 2015, were you aware of any beef or disagreement between If Gang and YSF? If I was, it was something I heard. I ain't like witness no beef or nothing like that going on. Okay. Do you recall that same interview in August? I think I may have said 2016, but I mean 2015. Basis. I'll sustain the objection. You want, you want to try and do something and get something else? You're right. Yeah. Okay. He didn't say that's what he heard in his interview, so I wanted to confront him with what he said. All right. Do you... Sir? It's still hearsay. But... There's higher statements that are based on hearsay. Your Honor. Do you have it's not based on hearsay because he didn't... That's why he has no personal knowledge. No. He said he doesn't recall... Okay, we'll ask him that, and then we'll see whether or not he does or not. Okay. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Thomas during the interview that there was beef? Not that you heard about the streets, but that there was beef between If Gang and Slime, and that we were beefing. I don't remember. If Gang. I don't remember saying it. Okay. I'm going to rule the objection, sir. In August of 2015, did you tell Detective Gaither and Detective Bitt Detective Dennis, that we as a slime were beefing with FK. I don't 
do you also remember saying in that same interview that well, she was a Japanese. All right, come on up. In the jail that you were at, which was the Fulton County Jail, that YSL members were on place because of the beef between If Gang and the YSL. I don't recall saying that. I don't recall what I said yesterday. Okay. 
what does the term being on a plate mean? Have you heard that term before? I think that means like beef. And when you say beef, what, what do you mean? Two people that don't like each other. And does it only have to be two people that don't like each other? I ain't understand what you asked me right there. You said it was two people who don't like each other. Does it always have to be two individual people? I don't know. I ain't people? made the definition of it. I ain't made the word. Okay, but what's your understanding? I just people? told you, two people disagree on something. And for you, it's only two individuals, like you and I beefing. It can't be two groups beefing? I don't know. I don't understand what you asked me to say. Now, I want to take you to April of 2015, specifically around April 26th of 2015. Were you present at the Compound Nightclub with other members of YSL? In April? I've been in the Compound a couple times. Were you present at the Compound with other YSL members when Lil Wayne was performing at the Compound? Yes. Who did you go to the club with? I can't remember who all day it was. A lot of us. Okay. When you say a lot of us, name some of the people you were at the club with. I can't remember. It was a lot of us, though. Do you remember anybody? You I just remember with? standing in the crowd. Do you recall in that same interview? in August of 2015 with Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, and Mr. Hudson stating that you went to the club with Dolly, Dora, Buck Buck, and you all arrived there in a Jeep together? I don't remember saying that. You don't remember saying that? No. And that also there was Shannon, they were all there at the compound together? I don't remember saying that. Okay. It was a lot of us though. Do you recall um, in this interview saying that you had a gun when you went to the compound nightclub? I always, I always kept a gun. Okay. And did a police officer see you with a gun that night? That same officer. Was it Detective Dennis? I don't know his name. Know. Do you remember what you did once he saw you with that gun? I ran. Okay. And what did you, what if anything did you do with the gun? I left it right there. Where did you leave it? I, I, I know it wasn't on me when I stopped running. Do you recall where you left it? No. Nah. Okay. Do you recall in that interview in August 2016 saying that you had put the gun on the wheel of the car? Of a car? No. Nah. <clears throat> Why did you all go to the compound that evening? I don't remember the same reason we go to a club any other night. The club. Was that the only reason why you were going to the club? To my knowledge. Were you going to do anything in the club towards Little Wayne that night when you all went to the club? That man like the president. Man, how are you going to do something to Little Wayne? Okay. Do you recall in that August of 2015 interview stating that y'all want to go in and maybe boo at him or maybe create some type of havoc inside of the club while no, he was performing? I don't recall saying that. Once you took off running after the police saw you with the gun, what did you do? I don't remember. I know I left, though. I think I... I don't know if I called somebody or I paid somebody I just seen. I, I know I left the vicinity, though. Do you recall telling the detectives in that August interview that you got into another vehicle, not the vehicle that you all came in, and end up going to another club, I think the Blue Ivory? 
I don't remember that. I thought I went home or with a female to a house or something. I don't remember going back to no club. I was shook after that. Do you also remember saying that after y'all left the club, you all went back to the studio? No. Do you recall seeing Shannon um, at the compound that evening? No, I don't recall seeing no, that was so long ago. What about Roscoe? Do you recall seeing Roscoe at the compound that evening? No. Do you recall telling um, Detective Gaither and Dennis that you saw um, both Roscoe and Shannon at the compound that evening? And that at some point Shannon got into Dolly's truck and they drove that truck and left the compound? No. How could I see somebody leave if I already left? When um, this particular incident occurred or day occurred at the compound, was Mr. Williams with you all at the um, compound? I don't recall. I don't know. Do you recall if you spoke to Mr. Williams that night? Um, at all uh, while you were either at the compound or later on that evening at the compound. What year you said it was? In 2015, April of 2015. I don't even think we were talking then. Do you recall telling detectives that you spoke to Mr. Williams and he was upset with you because you had brought Dora and Dolly to the club that evening? That sounds all right. He probably, he was mad at me for doing a lot of stupid stuff back then. Okay. But specifically, he was upset that evening because you had brought Dora and Dolly out there. Uh, I don't remember that happening, but that sounds about right. Why do you keep a gun on you? I don't keep a gun on. Back then, you said you always used to have a gun. Keep oh, a back gun then, okay. Yeah. Sorry. We gonna, yeah. Why do you? Why did you always keep a gun on you back then? I don't know. I just did. Why? There was no particular reason. I just kept a gun on me to protect myself. Was it because of the beef you were having with IFK? I kept a gun before I even it was why I said or heard of IFK or anything like that. Did you ever gain access into the compound club that night before taking off running before the police saw you? Did you ever get inside of the club that evening? I don't recall getting inside the club. I just remember running, <laughs> being tired from running. At any point that evening, do you remember YSL members going near the tour bus of Little Wayne. I ain't seen no tour. Now I want to take you to April 12th of 2016, 2015, excuse me. Did you... I think earlier we talked about you pleading to participate in a criminal street gang and an attempted murder. Do you recall doing that and going to prison? Yes.
privilege to approach your honor. I've shown you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 18, Charlie Charlie. Do you see your name on State's Exhibit 18, Charlie Charlie? Yes. Okay. And do you see an indictment number on there? Yes. What's that indictment number? Uh, 15 is. Sure, can you speak up? Can you all speak up, please? Yes. What's that indictment number? 15 SC 138234. And, and looking at that front page, does it show the, the crime of which you were convicted of? Yeah. Okay. And are, are those the crimes for which you went to prison for in 2016? Yes. Your Honor, this time I say like the tender states is 18 Charlie Charlie as a self authenticating document. What's that? Any objection to 18 Charlie Charlie? I don't. Any objection to 18 Charlie Charlie? 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 Any objection Certified copy of the conviction. What were you convicted of? Participating in criminal street gang, aggravated battery, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Okay. And you were convicted of uh, participation in criminal street gang activity. What gang were you a part of? Blood. Was it YSL? I don't know. That's a good question. Huh? You don't recall? They didn't ask me that when I pleaded guilty. They didn't ask me that when I pleaded guilty. I thought they were saying I was in blood. Okay. Do you remember the facts that led up to that conviction? No. No, that's what I'm looking over. I don't remember all that. I see the counts, but I don't really like record. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> I, rem I see the counts on it, though. Okay. So you don't remember what happened on April 12, 2015? I think like bits and pieces though I can't it was a long time ago okay. what are the bits and pieces that you remember <clears throat> I remember like going to court for it and seeing the guy who got shot and all that it was traumatizing so you say you only remember what happened after you got arrested like as of right now yeah okay. so is it your testimony today that you don't remember anything that happened on the evening of April 12 2015 like bits and pieces, I just said that. Okay. What are the bits and pieces that you remember about what happened on April 12th, 2015? I just remember, like, pulling up to the stove. Okay. 
Well, it happened. What, <clears throat> what store did you pull up to? I can't remember the name of the store. It was a gas station. Okay. Do you remember where the gas station was? No. Do you remember what part of the city the gas station was? No. It was, I think, off of Cleveland Avenue. I think it was off of Cleveland. Did you go to the gas station with anyone? Yeah. Who? Me and Nard. Okay. And when you say Nard, who are you speaking of? Nard. What, did, does Nard have a real name? I don't know his real name by heart, though. Okay. How long have you known Nard? What you mean, like in 2015? In 2015, how long has you known Nard? Not long. Probably about a year. Only a year. Permission to approach? Mm -hmm. I'm showing you what's going to mark the state's exhibit 23, Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize the state's exhibit? The person that's exhibit 23, Charlie Charlie? Yes. Who's that? The Nard. Is that the same Nard that you came to the to get? came to the store with back yes. in April 12, 2015? That's the same person? Yes. You are this time state would like to admit state's exhibit 23, Charlie, Charlie, as an advocate. Any objections to state's 23, Charlie, Charlie, admitted? Permission to publish, Yes, you may publish. Now, when you got, now, when you got to the store with Nard, do you remember where you were prior to getting to the store? Um, I just remember we pulled up to the store. Do you remember um, in the interview back in August, of 2015, and in a proffer that you did in February of 2016, um, telling um, Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis, as well as Detective Gaither, Dennis, and a prosecutor, that before you got to the sit-go, or before that you got to the gas station, you were at Hot Rod Spot on off of Browns Mill Road. I don't recall saying that. Do you recall telling the detectives that while you were at Hot Rod's house, it was you, Nard, Fanny, um, Detective Gaither, and Detective Dennis, as well as Detective Gaither, Dennis, and a prosecutor, that before you got to the I hear my voice. Um, that initially, when, in August of 2015, you said it was Nard, Fanny, and you were at Hot Rod's house prior to going to the gas station and then February, you said that there might have been a J at the house as well um, before y'all left to go to the gas, the gas station. I don't recall. So I told you I would say anything. I would have cut my arm off and give that to my son. Okay. Now, do you remember what you were doing at Hot Rod's house prior to going to the gas station? No, I don't. That's too far to be trying to remember. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, as well as the prosecutor, that while at Hot Rod's house, Fatty had came over in a new, I think you may have said a hot box, which was a stolen car, uh, and y'all were talking at the house prior to you leaving to go to the gas station? No, I don't remember that. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, um, and the prosecutor later on in February that while you were at the house, that Nard received a phone call and that Nard told you, threw you a chopper and told you, let's ride? <laughs> no, that sounds like a movie. All right. Do I you told you I was high back then. I would have said anything. Okay. Do you know what a chopper is? 
A chopper? Yeah. There's a lot of different meanings for chopper. A helicopter, a motorcycle, a gun. A gun that's a chopper. Do you know what type of gun that is? Huh? It's a chopper. Is it a small gun, a long gun, a short gun? What kind they of gun? They got all sizes of chopper. Sorry? They have all sizes. Okay. Now, do you recall telling um, Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, that once a NAR said, let's ride, you all hopped in the white Dodge truck and drove to the Sitco gas station? No. And that Nard was driving, you were in the passenger seat, and Fatty was in the back seat. No, I don't remember saying that. Do you recall telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, at the August 2015 interview, as well as in the proffer in the February interview, that while be, while on the way to the gas station, that Nard was on the phone with someone? No, I don't remember that. <clears throat> and that they were on, yo, you, you all were on the way up to the gas station? I don't remember that. Do you recall Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis asking you whether or not you asked why we were going or what we had to do? Do you recall saying that? I don't recall. They asked me a lot of stuff. Bro. Do you recall telling them that NAR didn't say why you had to go? He just handed you a chopper. You assumed there was something going down. You thought you thought he you were going to get a catch or thought you were going to hit a lick. That's what you thought was going to happen. It sounded like me. I'm always was trying to get a lit by then. You were always trying to get it. Okay. Now, do you recall telling Investigator Gates and Investigator Dennis when you got to the Sitco gas station, you all pulled up to the pump and you saw Bentley? No, I don't recall saying that. Who's Bentley? An older cat from Cleveland. And is it the same Bentley we talked about earlier who's a part of YSL? Hmm? Is this the same Bentley we talked about earlier this morning who's a part of YSL? I think I know more than one Bentley though. Okay. <clears throat> Come and show for I'll show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize State's Exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie? Yes. Who is that? That Bentley. Okay. Is that a Bentley that you knew back in 2015? Yeah. All right. Is that a fair and accurate depiction of Bentley um, back when you, um, back in 2015? Yeah. You're right. That's how I say with like the tender states exhibit 24 Charlie Charlie into evidence. Hey, Jason says Charlie, uh, 24 Charlie Charlie. I don't know what happened. I say 24 Charlie Charlie. Permission to publish, Your Honor. Thank you. And is that who you call Bentley? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you recall? You said you were at the store. You remember being at the store. Do you remember what happened while you were at the store? I don't. Okay. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis? That once you all got to the store, you pulled up to a gas pump, you got out of the passenger seat, NAR got out of the driver's seat, and when you got there, you immediately, with your chopper, ran to the car in which the individuals that you were going to deal with were, that you went immediately to that vehicle. Oh, God, son, that sounds like a movie, too. Do you recall them saying after you walked up to the vehicle, they rolled their windows down, the passenger side window down, and after they, God bless you, after they rolled the passenger side window down, you backed back from the car 
and went back to the doorway of the gas station. I don't recall from that. Do you recall them showing you pictures in that interview of surveillance images from the Sitco gas station on April 12, 2015? I think they showed me a lot of pictures in the interview. Mm. Okay. Approach, I'm going to first show you what's been marked as six of the nine, nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie. I want you to take a moment and look at nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie. Looking at nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie, one, do you see yourself in those images captured at nine Charlie Charlie through 15 Charlie Charlie? Yes. You say yes? Okay. Do you recall those being the pictures that were shown to you while you were being interviewed at the Atlanta Police Department in August of 2015? I don't remember that. Okay. But do you recall seeing yourself in yeah, those pictures? Yeah, I remember the pictures. Though. Do you see uh, Bentley in those pictures? Mm, yeah, in a couple of them. In a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. Do you also see Nard in some of those pictures? Yes. All right. And those, those images appear to be or look like the store that you were in front of. Let me ask you this. Is there a date on those pictures? Yeah. Photo 12, 2015. Okay. And I want you to look at... Your indictment. What is the date indicated in any of those um, counts in the indictment in which um, you pled guilty to? Probably 12. 12 is that the same date as that's in those surveillance images? Mm -hmm. okay. And does that appear to be a fair and accurate image of what you look like on April 12, 2015? I don't know what I look like right then, but that's me in the picture. But that's you in the picture. Right. All right, you're right. This time, the state would like to tender states. You have nine Charlie Charlie. To 15 Charlie Charlie and Sandy. Any objection to say it's 9 Charlie Charlie 3, 15 Charlie Charlie? On behalf of that. On behalf of that. 9 Charlie Charlie 3, 15, 15 Charlie Charlie are admitted and they've been published as you see fit. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Now I'm also going to show you 20 Charlie Charlie, 21 Charlie Charlie, and 22 Charlie Charlie. First, I want to start with 22 Charlie Charlie. Do you see yourself in 22 Charlie Charlie? Man, that picture's so blurry. I can't, you can't, you can't even tell who that is. Okay, so let's look at 14 Charlie Charlie. Do you see yourself in 14 Charlie Charlie? Yeah. He said it was so, go ahead, repeat what your last answer was. I don't even remember. About 22 Charlie Charlie, what did you say? Oh, it's so blurry, you can't even see who in there. Did you hear him? 
Looking at 14, Charlie, Charlie, do you see you? This one. Yeah, yes. I do. What are you wearing? It looks like a blue coat. Okay. Like, does it look blue to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. The image in 22, Charlie, Charlie, can you tell what color coat that person is wearing? It's so blurry, I can't see the color though. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let me ask you this. Are you familiar with the image of what's contained within 22 Charlie Charlie? No. Okay. On 22 Charlie Charlie, what is the date on 22 Charlie Charlie? April 12th, 2015. Okay. And is there a time stamp on there? Charlie Charlie, can you tell me? 21, 50. Do you see? 21, 43, 50. Are you familiar? It looks like it's not. Okay. Do you, um, do you know military time? No, never been to the military. Okay. Published 14 Charlie Charlie. Looking at 14 Charlie Charlie, do you see where you are in 14 Charlie Charlie? Yes. And where are you? Standing behind the door, the dude holding the door. What? It looks like he's holding the door. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And do you recognize anybody else in this picture? It's a, I don't know none of them, but um, not right there. Is this not right here? Yeah. Okay. But you don't know any of these other people? No. All right. Let's look at 15, Charlie Charlie. Do you recognize anyone who's in 15, Charlie Charlie? That's the same people, right? Is nah, it? They're bent me right there. Yeah. That's building right here. Yeah. Okay. What about is that the individual, I'm sorry, for the record, in the white t shirt? Uh -huh. For some reason, black and white Jordan? Yes. Right. 16 Charlie Charlie? And I'm sorry, stay on 15 real quick. Are you also still in this image as well? Yes. Right. 16 Charlie Charlie? Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That's, that's, the, that's the blue one. 13, Charlie, Charlie. Who's there at 13, Charlie Charlie? They're not. What does he have in his hand? A gun. Would you call that a chopper? Yeah, it looks like a, a chopper. It looks like a chopper? Yeah. Does that look like the store that you went to on April 12, 2015? I don't remember how it looked, it, but I'm at a store right now. Okay. Say that one more time. I said, I don't remember how it looked. It. Okay. <laughs> now, at the store, do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Detective T Dennis that after you ran up to the other car, that you walked back to the door? And you kind of motioned for um, Hot Rod and Bentley to come out of the store. They look like I was coming out of the store with them. Do you recall telling the tech that you kind of motioned, because they look scared, so you kind of motioned for them to come out the store as if they didn't have to be scared anymore because you were there? No. 
Do you remember what she did after you? Do you remember leaving the store? No. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that once Bentley and Hot Rod got out the store, that you and Nar got back into the vehicle, Nar being the driver and um, you being the passenger, you don't remember if Fatty ever even got out the car and that you all left as well as Hot Rod and Bentley got in their car and y'all all left the gas station. I do not remember that. See? That was so long ago, I don't remember. Do you remember where you may have went after you left the gas station? No. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis, as well as the prosecutor in February of 2016, that after leaving the store, that you saw the guys in the blue car go down Jonesboro Road, and you all went down Browns Mill Road, and you end up seeing the blue car at a stop sign. You couldn't remember what the cross street was, but it was a cross street that crossed Browns Mill and Jonesboro Road. Oh, I, I would say anything. But you did plead guilty to this crime that we're discussing. Yeah. Correct? Do you recall telling Detective Gaither and Dennis that Nard, when Nard saw the car stopped at the stop sign, that he said, oh, there go them niggas, and that he kind of turned, and Bentley and Hot Rod drove around y'all vehicle, because they were following behind you, they went straight, and you went over to the vehicle to where the blue car was. Do you remember that? I don't remember that. Do you remember then telling Detective Gaither Detective Dennis in August, as well as telling Detective Gaither, Dennis, and the prosecutor in February, that Nard then rolled down his window, took the chopper, and you actually crossed your hands, and that he shot into the vehicle multiple times, about three to four times, inside of the vehicle with the chopper. And then after shooting, Y'all took off and y'all drove. I don't remember saying that. Do you remember Detective Gaither showing you pictures of the victim with half of his head cut off? Yeah, I remember. You remember that? Yeah. And do you remember telling Detective Gaither that it was Nar who shot half his head off? I don't remember saying that, though. Do you remember telling Gaither, Detective Dennis, and the prosecutor in February that the reason why you went over there was because Bentley and Rock and, and Hot Rock said that they were in trouble. They thought that they thought that these four young men were trying to follow them. I don't remember none of that. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither, Detective Dennis in August, and then the prosecutor along with Gaither and Dennis in February, that after Nard shot the victim or shot into the vehicle, that um, you all went back to the house on Hot Rod's house? I don't recall saying that. Do you recall where Hot Rod's house I don't even remember nobody named Hot Rod. That sounded like a, a toy car. Did you know someone by the name of Rodney Allison? No. Do you 
remember describing excuse me, Ryan's house as kind of trap house. You, you get some, you get your drugs there sometimes that you would take. Uh -huh. Do you remember telling Gaither and this because they asked you where was this house located that you kind of went through? It was off a of Bromac, and then you could turn on another street, and it was a brown house with a gate with a with a slope down driveway. Right. <clears throat> Do you remember them asking you? Um, how Thug felt about you engaging with Nard and Bentley during this time? No, I don't know. I don't know. Do you remember telling Detective Gaither and Detective Dennis that Thug was mad at you because you looked at him like a brother and that you had done so much for Thug that your only job at that point in 2015 was to watch his mother and his two sisters, Dolly and Dora. No, I don't want to call saying I had to watch them. And that he wanted you to kind of lay low. That don't even sound right. <laughs> Do you recall you telling them that Doug said he would take care of the clothes, the shoes, and the house so long as you protected them because you had already done enough for him? No, I don't know nothing about that. He was already taking care of his family. Do you recall ever speaking with Nard or Bentley um, after the shooting at all? No, I don't. Do you, let me ask you this, back in 2015, in April of 2015, did you have that YSL tattoo on your face? I think so. Do you know if you had the snake and slap emoji on your face at that time? <clears throat> I think so. <clears throat> now, do you know why you were so willing to just grab a chopper and go up to the Citgo gas station without any questions asked to protect Bentley? Probably high. Huh? It, it sounds like a movie. But high or not, did you see yourself in those images at the Sitco gas station? Yeah. And in those Sitco gas station pictures, and I'll pull them up, did you have, did you wear a mask at all when this occurred? I don't remember what I had on. Okay. Look at those uh, surveillance videos. I just seen a blue jacket. Oh. That's all I can see is it's blurry. I just see my face in a blue jacket. Okay. First, look at that 14 charge Holly. You have that one in your hands? 14? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in my hand. Do you have any do you have a mask on? No, I can see my face. And look at that 15. Charlie, Charlie? Do you have any type of mask on? No. And it's 16 Charlie, Charlie? All right, good. So. I don't even think that's okay. I don't got no 16. Now, when you are meeting with Detective Gaither, Detective Tennis, in August, wait a minute, 
Did you first meet with Detective Gaither and Dennis first in July of 2015 when you were arrested? I don't know when I met with him. I remember meeting with him, though. Say that again. I don't know when it was I met with him, but I remember, like, meeting with him. Did you meet with them twice at Atlanta Police Department? I don't know how many times it was. I remember, like, meeting detective. <clears throat> when you met with the detectives, was Mr. Williams present in the room with you when you met with the detectives? Hmm? Huh? Was Mr. Jeffrey Williams in the room with you when you met with detectives? No. Was Shannon in the room with you when you met the detectives? No. What about when you did the proffer agreement? Was Mr. Williams in the room with you when you did the proffer agreement? What do you mean? When you were in that room with the prosecutor, Gaither, Dennis, and you were in this Before room, I pleaded guilty. Before you pleaded guilty. Um, uh, No. And when you spoke to detectives Gaither and Dennis, both in February, excuse me, in August of 2015 and February 2016, were you able to tell them everything that happened on April 12, 2015? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what I told them. I told you I would have told them anything to get home to my family. You saw a person with half of his head. That's not the story, right? In the courtroom, yeah. In the courtroom, you saw that individual. Yeah. Right. And that's the individual that's in your indictment, Dexter McGarrett. I guess that's it. Okay. It's not a story that half his head is shot off. I seen it. All right. So that's a fact. Yeah. It's not fiction. No. So even if you would have said anything to get out that room. Was some of the stuff you said what actually happened because you saw the person it happened to? Hmm? You keep saying that you would have said anything to get out there. Yeah. But the stuff that you said actually had a result, and that result was the person you saw in court would have his head shot off. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Um, can you dumb it down? You told, did you tell Gaither and Dennis, not once, but twice, what you knew about what happened on April 12, 2015? I don't remember what I told them. I know I met with them, though. I'm sorry, say that one more time. I don't remember what I told them specifically, but I remember, like, meeting with them. Okay. And when you met with them, they want you to tell them the truth about what happened. Yeah, that's what I asked for. Okay. And in order to get whatever deal you want to get, you told them the truth about what happened that day. I told them whatever I wanted to tell them to get home quicker. <laughs> I just told you that. I've been telling that all day. But whatever you told them, there was actually a person who got shot, that Nard shot. I assume. I don't know. But you pled guilty to these charges. Yes. And the charge that you pled guilty to was based upon what you told the second gate in August and in February. I don't understand. No, but you confusing me now. <clears throat> you pled guilty to these charges. Yes. You pled guilty to participation in a criminal street gang. Yes. Both you and Nard are part of YSF, the criminal street gang. Yeah, I was charged with criminal street activity before, yeah. And you were charged with Nard? Yeah. You were also charged with aggravated assault? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And that was for... One count of shooting Dexter Montgomery. Yeah. And you were also charged, I don't know if you pled to it, but you were also charged with shooting in a car where D'Angelo White was inside of that car. I don't even know who that is. 
Let me show you what's been admitted as case exhibit 7BB. Do you know that individual? I've never seen him in my damn life. you never seen him? On your indictment, is there a count for an individual by the name of D'Angelo Wright? No, it's a lot of counts. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Count nine. Okay. And does it have an individual by the name of D'Angelo White? Yes. And you pled guilty to having a gun? Or did you plead guilty to having a gun? I just pled guilty to whatever they have ready to go home. Okay. Did you plead guilty to having a gun? Yes. Okay. Now you said you have told anything to go home. Would you have told the truth to go home? If I knew the truth, I mean. Now, Mr. Murphy, today you are not telling Ms. Jordan what you told the police back in August of 2016. Why not? I don't remember. I don't want to lie to them. Do you not remember because you have to testify in this court in front of all these individuals sitting on this side of the room? No. Did you have concerns about talking to the permission to approach? Yes.
Mr. Murphy come back, please? All right. Um, <clears throat> members of the jury, we have gotten to a point in the day where I think it might be appropriate for us to stop at this point. So what I'm going to do is, um, Mr. Murphy, if you could, uh, I'm going to release you at this point in time for the, for the day. Come back tomorrow for um, 1230 and uh, be in pocket and we'll call you. We'll probably be here the afternoon, okay? Okay. All right, remember, don't discuss the testimony with anybody except the attorneys in this case, okay? Okay. All right, thank you, sir. All right, members of the jury, um, before we recess for today, uh, as um, promised, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you um, kind of where we are for the next few days. So tomorrow's the 12th. We'll come at 1230. We'll start around 1 o'clock, and we'll be here until about 5 p.m. Um, on Monday the 15th, I'll ask you to report for 830, and we'll be here, we'll be here the day. Um, the 16th, Tuesday, we're going to have a short day because one of your members has a uh, medical appointment. So we're going to go from 10, you'll, you'll report for 930, and we'll go to about 1230, and that will complete our business for that day. Um, the next day, the 17th, we'll do your report at 1230, and uh, we'll go to about 5, the 18th. Uh, you'll report for 8.30, and uh, we'll go to about 1.45. One of your members has a, has a doctor's appointment. Um, so, and then that. Friday, I've already told you that's when the court has veterans court independent of these proceedings. So we'll report it. You'll report at 12.30. Or one o'clock start time, we'll, we'll go to five o'clock. Um, I'll give you the week thereafter, um, starting on the 22nd, later in the week of the, later in the, this coming week. But I have put on your radar already the 25th and 26th of April are administrative days. So you can, I hope you've, my book those already. Um, the, the, as well as the, Second and the third of May will be administrative days. So you can go ahead and put those down. The 22nd through the 24th, that's like that Thursday and Friday, uh, that will be an administrative day for you all. You know, the 27th of May is Memorial Day. That's Monday. That's a holiday. Um, on Monday, the th the six, I should say the 3rd of June, um, you'll have an administrative day on that day. Uh, June 19th, which is Juneteenth, we have a county holiday. And then the 26th uh, through the 28th will be administrative days of June. So those days, go ahead and put those on your calendar if you want to go ahead and book something now. Or you need to take care of some personal business and the like, we will go ahead and... Uh, you can do that. Um, also, in relationship to the question you've asked me about um, remuneration on those days that you're not here, uh, I have got some smarter people than me, the other lawyers in the uh, in the county, um, to take a look at that issue. Uh, so I can go ahead and give you that a firm answer on that. We think yes, but we need to get approval, okay? Because you can't do anything else on those days, and so that's why we have we have uh, indicated to them that those that would be uh, something that we should do. So I hadn't dropped off the plate. We're working on it. What are your questions of me at this point, if any? 
there's always somebody, you know, I'm just being polite, right? Okay, all right, so, ma'am, what is your question? I just want to clarify for the, for May, you said the 22nd and the 23rd? 20, the 22nd through the 24th. So, I'm sorry, you're absolutely right. Um, it will be that. We will work. We will work on the twenty second. So it's actually the twenty third and the twenty fourth. So thank you for that clarification. You're welcome. You're, you're very welcome. <laughs> She's probably thinking, "Oh, you just cheated yourselves out of the day." Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. Um, but yes, I would have clarified her later on. You know, I would have been. I would have been. I can't get my stuff together. Um, all right. Any other questions of me? administrative in nature. Okay, all right. This sub this is of course subject to change uh, and I will, like I said, we'll do the pinpoint when you report and uh, on a week to week basis because sometimes that changes or I need to tweak it. Um, but for the most part, that's our schedule for tomorrow and for and for next week, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, unless you have any other ministerial inquiry of me, let me go ahead and give you your, your uh, admonitions. Please leave your notepads in the basket. Um, remember, do not discuss this case amongst yourselves in small groups and onesies and twosies or a little. <clears throat> and as you're sitting back there, it will be a violation for you to recap the case, uh, recap person's testimony, um, consider anything that we have discussed out here until such time as I tell you when you're to begin your deliberative process. Please also resist temptation of listening to any third party accounts of this particular proceedings as they, as they, uh, as they go along. Um, don't look, go to any podcasts, any other printed material, or certainly anything that's, um, being reported in the news media in regards to this case. If anybody should try and approach you or attempt to uh, talk with you about this case in any form or fashion through any particular medium or in person, please let Sergeant Ingram and myself know immediately. And again, ladies and gentlemen, don't go by and visit any of the scenes that may be depicted or you've heard of in this particular case. That would be a violation for you to do so. And the last thing as usual, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your, your patience and uh, your continued patience with us. And unless you have any other inquiry of me, and ladies and gentlemen, we will see you tomorrow, 1230, for an anticipated one o'clock start time. And then we'll be here the afternoon and we'll see what see where the day leads us at that point, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, all rise. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our jury has left us. All right, is there anything else I need to take up with you all uh, for the good of the order? Uh, if not, we'll continue with Mr. Murphy's examination tomorrow. Um, how much longer do we have with Mr. Murphy? Just ballpark? Ballpark, an hour and a half. All right, so he may be with us at least the rest of the afternoon and potentially Monday. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else at this point in time, gentlemen, lady, or ladies, I should say. Okay. All right. Um, all right, counsels, unless you have anything else, I'll see you tomorrow at um, 1230 for an anticipated one o'clock start time. Okay. All right. We're in recess.